Hey, how we doing everyone? Today, another wonderful video. A few people ask me how do I keep Cody running nice and clean? How do I clean Cody? How do I maintain Cody? How do I clean the cash? How do I clean all those nice uh, uh, thunder nails from the movies? You know, how do I, I clean the package? Because every time, you gotta remember, every time you get Cody, and you get errands every time errands up and errands update you got a zip file installed in your and your media box when your computer anywhere so i guess in your computer is not a problem because it has a huge uh, storage but if you are in mxq pro any of those boxes you got either one gigabyte or two gigabytes it will take a while but after a few months that will add it up you know, I definitely can have 50 to 100 packages in a month. It all depends how many errands you have. And this is this is a real dynamic system. So it keeps changing all the time. So there are some plugins that come down, they come up, or whatever. They keep changing the programs. So There's always update. You know, every week is an update. So every time you see an update up on the left corner, I'm sorry, up in the right corner, that means a file is there. A file is there. So every time, every time you watch, you see in a movie and you see those nice uh, dark nails movies going around, and depends what program you're using. Well, that means more files to get a storage in, in, in your media box. And then plus the cache the media box is using. So after a while, memory starts getting full, you get your system crashing, and why my box is so slow. So I'm going to show you how to install it. We're going to run Cody. Running 16.1, no different than the other ones. So I'm going to show you. The only thing, if you're going to use a box, well, there's two ways you do it. Uh, this one, you connect a keyboard if you want it the faster way, or you're going to have to use your remote control and tap with remote control. Yes, kind of. I hate it, but not much you can do. So we're going to go into file system. We're going to go into file manager. And we're going to get source. There's two ways to do it. One, we can download the zip and then transfer into the box. I think that will be the easy way to do it. But this is a nice way to do it. I'm going to type it. So we're going to, we're going to go, we're going to hit enter right over here. And we're going to type HTTP um, forward slash. Now, you don't need to memorize this. You know, one thing I hate about the YouTubers, not everyone, I have to glue myself to. I know they show you a video and then they put the description on the video. Just put it in the bottom of them description. Because I hate it when if you got a Windows machine, you have to then type the whole thing. Some that are crazy uh your links. You gotta type and say, damn it, why you do that? I'll give you a whole instruction. They are nice, we could give you uh, screenshots, but they never type anything they need a screenshot. Yeah, I see screenshot what? So I have to go freeze a screenshot and then go ahead and type it. Just Put that in the description so I can copy it over nice with the mouse. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Come on, we are in the year 2016. There is no copy, paste. So I'm going to give you that option for you guys to copy and paste. So when the video finished, just look at the description. I'm going to have the link there so you can copy, paste, or you can print it out and easy for you. You can see that. You go to your TV. And then you just grab the paper and do it because I, or you're gonna, you need to have your phone and look your phone and look the video. So you look this once and you guys are done. So you don't need to memorize this. So just for the purpose, we type it. So HTTP S O L V E T dot no C O. No, it's not C O. C A. Okay. So you don't need to memorize that. I put the right link on it. We gotta keep the you gotta keep a name. So we're gonna keep that name. And I put it that this is why I put it that well. If you got a lot of plugins, it will make your life easy because it's gonna show you it's gonna show you right in the beginning. It's gonna show right in the beginning of the list. The only purpose for that. You can put a name you want. You don't have to do you want to call whatever. Okay. So we did with the, the repository is there, so we're gonna exit from there. Okay, and now we're going to go into settings. 
from sharing we go all the way down to errands we're gonna install it from zip and then you see it right there okay so we hit enter we go all the way down into maintenance and maintenance we're gonna hit enter then we go all the way down to maintenance drop maintenance okay that one okay and pay attention on the bottom right okay you see there already got install it okay so actually all know the updates going on as it goes i just refresh it okay so after that we go get we go back again into uh, settings we don't have to do this but let's do the right way settings errands and now we're going to install from repository and we see it right there raw media Cori errand press there programs raw install okay so it's enabled so already installed so we exit we'll move into programs programs errands right there we're gonna hit enter we go maintenance and these are the things you gotta do how long you gotta do this i will do this once a week first we're gonna clean the cache we say yes okay this all the nice picture you see going on uh, going on on and you coding machine so we said yes clean the library and package i will say there is about seven package because we got the row i download the raw and also the updates seven i was right because yes that's it all right guys it's a simple video how to install rock maintenance into any machine. I don't care what it is. If it's wrong call, you can install it anywhere you want it. You just follow this procedure. Um, underneath, I'm going to put you the link of the repository. So it will be easy for you. You don't have to go crazy and memorize things around. And I hope you enjoy the video.